You are listening to Motivational Radio France with your host, Longiago in Paris. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our non usual program, Motivational Hour. Today, I am speaking with an African, very strong African, <laughs> I should say so, and his name is uh, Sam Hunsu. Is that, am I right? Yeah, you're yeah, right. Okay, good. So today, we're going to, let me start with that. What is power of purpose? Or what is the power of purpose? Well, I must appreciate your efforts for why I started my discussion. Okay. This is a great uh, forum that people need to learn from, and uh, this is what our continent actually needs there that is much. That's right. Uh, in my in my journey in life, and as a motivational speaker, as an author, and as a, as a writer, yeah. as, as a minister as well, I have discovered that everything created by God has a purpose, uh-huh. whether living or not even living things, mm-hmm. but especially living things. Anything that God took time to manufacture to create has it has it has a purpose behind that creation. Mm-hmm. So the power of purpose is the ability for individuals to discover this purpose. The question here is, what am I creating? to do. What am I here on X for? Mm-hmm. Am I just here for hearsay? No. Everyone is here for a reason. Everyone has a specific assignment, specific calling, specific reason why he or she is here on earth. That is why I've discovered that no matter how uh, the world is getting increasing on daily basis, the population, mm-hmm. individuals still have a different, different entity, different significant reason why they are here on earth. Okay. Everyone is dif- everyone is different. So- I'm different from you. You are different from me. So A is different from B and so on and so forth. So that's what I mean by the power of purpose. Okay. So my job is discover what it is, right? Yes. It is not left for individual to take time to discover what he or she is here on earth for. Okay. Now, and I've also said this sometimes. I said God is too busy to have created you or I if He has no reason why He created. You. Okay. Very wonderful. Now the problem is if I if I can't if I am not able to discover my purpose, how would I do it? How would I, as a layman, the man on the street, very somebody who's not who didn't go to school, how can I discover my purpose? Is, is there, is there any possible very, way? Thank you very much. There are very there are major there are various tests one can take to discover his or her purpose. Like I said to you, no one is a lemma. Except if you see yourself as a lemma. Mm-hmm. Everyone is created as a unique entity. Everyone is created as a unique individual who has something unique to offer to his or her world. So how can we discover this purpose? Number one, the main, the first step in discovery of purpose is to go to the Lord in prayer and say, Lord, mm-hmm. what am I here for? What have you created me to come and do? And sometimes people pray and pray and they try, they don't get it, God may not answer. There are other ways by which you can get apart from that medium. Another means is at your childhood, what are you good at doing? So sometimes the parents can even help their children to discover who they are. Mm-hmm. Some children when they are still at the young age of two, three years, they are very good at doing some things. Now, practically, I have a family friend when I was in Nigeria, mm-hmm. and uh, I do visit them once, maybe by weekends when I was less busy. And I discovered one of the daughter, she loves one of one, one, there was a day I got there, I saw her arranging shears. Mm-hmm. So putting papers on those shears, putting pencils on those shears. Now doing as if he's teaching those as if he is if she is imagining as if she is teaching pupils. Mm-hmm. In their house, not in the school, now in their in their room. So I was telling the mother, I said, by now you should know, take note that this your daughter in the nearest future should either become a lecturer or, or a, a teacher. That's that's practically okay. So, but but funny thing, another thing is when such a daughter, she when she's growing up, she might get influenced by her friends. She might get she might mix up with others. So she might not have passion for that thing again. Mm-hmm. It is not left for the the, the the parents to call her back and say, look at you, this is what you love doing. Why not do this thing? Okay. So the parents can help you children to become what they are meant to become in life. Then another reason is what do I have passion for? There are some things you can do without anybody forcing you to do it. Mm-hmm. Now, I discovered several times people most of them are Nollywood, Hollywood, actors and actresses, mm-hmm. and carry one of my books. Okay. Most of them didn't go to school to go and study the theater arts. Right, it's true. Yeah, that, yeah, that study, <laughs> some of them are self-made. Study, yeah. yeah the, a lot of things. But at the end of the day, you see that they end up on what they have passion, mm-hmm. that is acting, and that's what, what announced them to the So the individual has something you have it's a passion for today. I'm a passion for reading for writing, and by that passion, I've been able to author as many books as possible. Mm. This is something I love doing. I can do hours without stress, without anybody, without anybody forcing me to do it. So you cannot ask yourself, What do I love doing? What can I do without stress? What can I do without anybody forcing me to do it? In that regard, that thing can also become your purpose. I think these are the major, 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 major ways by which.
which one can discover his or her purpose. Okay. Now, I, I, would you would you would you confirm or is it is it true that the only way to discover your purpose is through school? Well, you know, like practically now. Uh, when I when I was I went to register for the University of Journalism. That was when I was in Lagos, in Nigeria. The, as at that time, um, um, I just have an ordinary old level, but I've been able to publish in a magazine. Mm -hmm. I've not been able. To, I've not acquired knowledge and how it's been done or how the. the no, I've not done that. So during the interview, the the, the provost was asking me, "What are you here to do? What since you you have been doing these things, what are you here to do again?" That's what I said. <laughs> I'm, I'm only here to enhance my gift. Okay. Not to come and no, but just to enhance it to make it more modernize it. Okay, to polish it. So, to polish it up. So what school does is to for you to do or to, to modernize to polish your gift, your okay. talent, your potential, okay. your gift. So, what, so what, that is the importance of education. All right. So you, you you're saying in a way that the school the school system system helps you to polish your, your, your natural gift. But you need to know exactly what it is before you go to school, right? Exactly. You need to know what you are going to school to go and do. So I don't go and study something that you don't have passion for. And at last, you won't value it. Wow. That's great. Uh, in fact, that reminds me of two days ago, somebody was calling, was chatting with me on the on the internet. And, and he was saying uh, he wanted he wanted to succeed. He wants success and all that. I said, what, do you, what are you interested in? He said he's studying marketing. I said, okay, what, why are you studying marketing? He said, just want to, he, he wants to be successful. I said, is that why you're studying marketing? He said, so, and so for me, that, that's very strange for him to tell me that he's studying marketing just to be successful. Successful. You know? and see, I, you my, see, uh, the, hold on, sir. You see, we need to get this thing right, especially in Africa. Just uh, day for yesterday, we saw some youths who were traveling from, from one continent to, to East Lake to go and go only for a green pasture. Yeah. But uh, these are the people who have never discovered who they are. Exactly. And the, the Whatever you are in this world, you can make it if you know who you are. Exactly. And before you enter a school at all, you must know what you are going to study. You must not go because uh, my friends are going to school, let me go to school. No. And that is why it is very, very important. Don't go to school to go and study a course that you seems to you as being lucrative. That's it. We all cannot be the same thing. If you are meant to be a doctor, to be an ordinary teacher, and you went to school to go and study uh, medicine or a doctor, until you come back and do what you are meant to do, you can succeed. Okay. Now, wonderful. Sam, that is great. What you're just telling us, is one one I agree with you. Now listen, uh, you know many of our listeners are mainly in Africa, especially in Nigeria. Is it possible? Okay. Is it possible to tell? Or is it possible to explain practically how somebody can discover this talent or the unique all those unique talents we have before the person start going to school? Is it possible if any child or any boy or any school kid is listening to us now? How would you tell the person to what? What would that person do to discover exactly what he's meant for his unique co uh, calling? Yeah, practically, you know, yes. In our education system, especially in Nigeria, mm -hmm. very well. Now we have a category of education system from mm -hmm. primary school to secondary school. Mm -hmm. And the primary school, you are meant to do everything, follow up everything. The secondary school, from Jesus one to Jesus three, you are meant to do all the courses. Now, right. this is the major area that is very very important, which I will always advise the educational sector to take note of, is when the students are about to choose a particular course, either science, arts, or which other one get commercial. That Engineering, is the major areas. Mm -hmm. marketing, and other. This is area where the, the students need to be interviewed. Mm -hmm. This where this thing area you are going. Do you have passion for this particular profession? Are you good in acting? Are you good in science? Now, for example, I have, I have problem with this with this regard because nobody advises us when we are at that stage. Mm -hmm. At that stage, because when we know people believe when you are brilliant, you must go be a science student. Mm -hmm. Particularly, I, I have been the head in my school from my from back from my primary school. I've been leading my class, my secondary school. I've been leading my class, and uh, at that particular level, the teachers believe that you must go for science. But for me, I'm not good in calculus. I'm, I'm not good in mathematics. I'm not good in, in solving all those technical things. I'm only good in arts. But because of the influence, and at that time, you don't know anything, you don't know much about yourself. Because of the influence, so you just have to go for the science. But today, after I finish my secondary school, I have to go back again and go and write the YA art, of which, of which I didn't go for any extra exam. I read on my own, wow. and I passed this exam. So, what are we trying to say? We're trying to make things difficult for ourselves because, why well, go for this one because my friend is going for it. Um, this one, my father wanted to discover, to, to to, to, to study. This is what my mother wanted to study. No, it shouldn't be. We should always allow the, the, the students, uh, uh, you can only consider them what you love doing. Like I said before, in this case, the, 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 the parents can come in. Guy, my son, I know this is what you love doing. Why not do this one? Uh -huh. Don't tell your children that, okay, this is what uh, your neighbor's son is studying. I want to become a doctor. No. Does that child passion for, for that for that particular area? 
whether it's going to it's going now now for example i've published it several times on my, on my on my website said there is a family a guy whose parents forced him to go to school to go and study medicine and the guy doesn't have passion for medicine so after about seven or eight years of studying that in that degree on the graduation day what did he do he handed over his certificate to the parents and said daddy you forced me to study this course of which i did but this is not what i want so he gave a certificate and go back to school again and start studying a different course in time that is <laughs> Woo, the father must be crazy <laughs> so this is a practical this is a practical issue okay so my my message simply is let the, let's there be a counseling program where we can counsel the students when they are about to enter ss1 ss1 ss2 but they can know exactly what they are going there to go and do you are listening to motivational radio france with your host longer in paris